step into a world like you've never experienced before. You're gonna see some artists and shops. You can come out in your favorite garb or costume. You could dress up like anything you like, or you could just come in your favorite outfit and walk around and enjoy what the city has to offer. They have wonderful shops that are handmade goods. They have some delicious food from all over. And of course, they have some of the best entertainment you're gonna see on stage, um, including some new acts this year that uh, even if you've been 100 times, you've never seen these guys before. Now, this is a family-friendly experience, but there's some activities that's great for those that are 21 and over. Tell us about those activities and plans. Absolutely. If you look carefully on the map, you'll be able to find some of the uh, bodier shows, some of the more LC, a loose cannon, one might call it. Uh, you can have things like the Dead Bob show. You can have the Tortuga Twins finale show. That one's always a riot. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the Hops, the pub crawl experience, is now going to be one of the more uh, adult-centric uh, events at the festival. So if you really want to have a good time, you can let us show you the way. We'll show you where to go for all those. The festival has a variety of, of different shops, and in each of those shops, you're going to find different artisans that have handcrafted the goods that you see in front of you. They're not just something that they've that picked up from somewhere else and, and giving it to you. These are all people that have put time and effort into all of their products. We even have an entire weekend at the festival dedicated to these crafters, where uh, if you spend enough or if you accumulate enough receipts, you get free tickets to come back to the festival. So the festival has all of these hand handmade goods and celebrates those artisans in a variety of fashion. And that'll be on Wizard and Wonder Weekend at the Artisan Marketplace. Mm -hmm. And if you've been to the fair before and you want to check out some brand new acts, you can see a few this year. The first, of course, is Supernova the Strong Woman, the strongest woman you're ever going to see. And then, of course, there's the Reelin' Rogues, Irish music, high energy. Uh, their brand new great music show. There's new things like Pirouette the Dancer and so much more that if you've been there before, you can walk around and see things that you've never experienced before. Are there other ways families can save some money or steal? What's best? Should I yes. buy at the gate, buy online? What should we do? You can buy at the gate or online. However, if you want discounted tickets, you can get those through Bashes and Food City. Those are the two locations that the festival has partnered with. They also provide all the free parking at the festival. So you just go to those places and get your tickets on the way to the festival. And then park your car, come on in and see all that you have. You need to come both days. In fact, uh, you're not gonna be able to see everything on just one day.